Hello, wonderful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Do you know that you don't pray with respect to sickness? Okay, let's put it this way. Do you know the difference between Mark 11 23 and Mark 11 24 and its application? I was astounded the other day when the Lord revealed this to me. I'm sure he is. It's not a new revelation, but to me that was new. Where in 20, verse 23, he was talking about that Jesus was talking about how he dealt with the fig tree. He dealt with an obstacle. He dealt with something that wasn't good. What did he do? He exercised his authority by speaking to it. He didn't pray about it. He didn't pray to it. He didn't pray to God to take to deal with that obstacle. Instead, he dealt with it with his words. He exercised his authority. Whosoever shall say unto this man. That's have faith in God. It's all predicated on God. Have faith in God. That is, God has delegated certain things to you. Now, in delegation, he's talking about authority. And authority is uh, structure. He's delegated this to you. So you deal with obstacles. You deal with problems. Things that are gone out of shape here you take authority over them i have put my angels behind you to sort it out you give the command as if i'm there so he says have faith in god what 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 things soever you did no have faith in god say whosoever shall say unto this mountain that's the obstacle be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea that's he's addressing the problem be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he said so the process starts when you exercise authority then with respect to good things that you need brought into the here and now that's where verse 24 comes in it's just like in matthew 7 7 down to verse 11 or so or to, to verse 9. the father talks about asking the father and you will receive just you ask the father for things to be given things for things to be known things to be shown that's you asking the father that's where you pray now you're praying to the father about those things and he now talks about the parent who gives good things to his children how much more will your heavenly father give good things to them who ask him to his children so you pray to the father to do good things here on the earth remember i said in terms of bad things you you take authority over them you address them you speak to them but for quote and unquote the release of good things in the earth you pray to the father and believe that the father does that i hope i'm making sense God bless you. Hallelujah.